Hey guys, John Oakes here, and uh, I've been getting a lot of questions about the Kalatu blog and how to back up the content that is on your blog. The blog posts, the images, you know, all the content that you've um, put all of that effort into getting up on your blog. You want to be sure that periodically you're backing things up no matter what, no matter what blogging platform you're using. But with the Kalatu blog, it, the process is a little bit different to back things up, so I just wanted to show you exactly where that is. So if you're looking to move your blog to a different platform, set up an additional blog with the same uh, content, whatever you're looking to do, be sure that you're backing up that content. So here's how you do it. Uh, I'm logged in. Let me move this out of the way. I'm logged into my Kalatu blog dashboard. And once you're logged in, all you need to do is scroll down here to where it says Global Settings and click there. And then when that screen comes up, you want to scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll see right there it says back up your blog. To back up your blog, please click on this link. So it's kind of hidden in a little bit of an obscure location. Uh, just go ahead and click on that link and that'll take you to the backup page. So what I recommend you do is uh, to go ahead and just click this download backup file. Now you can choose all content if you wish, but really all you need is all the posts and all the pages. Okay, so those are the things that you want to get. Um, I would recommend actually downloading a couple of separate backup files because you don't necessarily need all of this stuff, especially if you're moving your content to a different blog. Um, go to the posts, select posts, and then for categories, just go ahead and, and select all. <clears throat> so it looks like it's not going to allow me to select anything with that anyway, but there should be a selection in that box for all. Uh, it's because this blog doesn't have any content on it at the moment. Uh, for authors, select all for the date range. You can go ahead and just go back to the earliest date that you had posted content, and then the latest date that you had posted content. Sorry, I had that backwards. There we go, December 2014 to March 2017. And then for status, uh, you can choose to get all your posts or just the published ones. Um, you know, I recommend just choosing all for that because even if you have a bunch of drafts saved, you might decide you want to activate those later or maybe they were blog posts that you didn't completely finish. So just collect uh, everything there into this backup file. And then once you've done that, just come down here, collect or select the download backup file button and click it. And let me move this screen up just a little bit so you can see. That is downloading what is called an XML file. So it's gonna be just a, a page that looks like a whole bunch of code and a bunch of text. Don't worry about it. You don't need to be able to read that file. Just make sure you save it in a location and have that safe somewhere so that you know exactly where it is saved on your computer so that you can access it because that is the file that you will import if you wanted to move that blog content to a different WordPress platform blog. Um, so really, really simple to do. If you do, in fact, want to also collect your pages and that content, then you would just go down here, select pages, go through the same process and uh, <clears throat> click the download backup file. And that would save another backup file, another XML file with the page content so that you could import the pages separately into a new blog if you chose to. Or again, if you're just wanting to periodically back up your content in case something happens to your blog, that's always a good idea to have you know, a latest copy of your XML backup file saved somewhere on your computer. Um, so one more thing we're gonna do, because this could be a huge headache if you miss this part and forget to back up your images. Images are a pretty important thing uh, on blogs and blog posts. So let me show you where you can get those. So if we go, let's see, looking for media. Uh, let's see, nope, it's not there. <laughs> All right, where did it go? <clears throat> Sorry, I'm, I've been working in too many different platforms lately. There it is, media. Okay, so click the, the media selection over here in the, in the left-hand side menu, and it's gonna take you to your media library and then all the images that you have saved that have been uh, used in all of your blog posts will be in this location. So it's a little bit tedious to deal with this, especially if you have a lot of images. There is no way to um, you know, just automatically copy or back up all those images that you have on there. So if you have them already on your computer, that's great. But if you don't, what I recommend you do is create a folder on your, your computer system somewhere, on your hard drive, 
that you're going to save all these images in and then real quick you can actually go through these pretty fast you just click on an image and right over here once it comes up <clears throat> so once the image is displayed here in the left hand side just do uh, hold down the control button or do a, a left mouse click and it'll give you a menu and you can click save image as and it'll allow you to save that image into that specific folder that you select so you can go through these pretty quick and just hit save and then you click the little X up here go to the next one click it once the image loads either a control click or a left mouse button click click save image as and save it. It'll already be named whatever you named it when you imported it into your WordPress. Uh, so it makes it pretty quick and you can go through this. Um, I actually was able to go through and save all these images that I have uploaded to my blog uh, into a separate folder in about 20 minutes. So not too bad, right? And then you only have to do that once. Once you have all that stuff backed up, that is it. So now you have a copy of all the content, all the blog post content, page post content, uh, all the author information, everything will be retained if you wanted to upload that to a new blog or just have a backup of that. And then you've got all of your images, which is all the important stuff from your Empower Network blog. And you have it backed up and saved so that you can decide to you know, do what you need to with it or just retain a backup copy of that. I do recommend that if you're continuing to use your Empower blog or any blog for that matter, that you do a backup of your content on a regular basis, you know, every couple of weeks, um, depending also on how often you post on your blog. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Hope you found this stuff helpful. Uh, it's a pretty easy process, so be sure you start backing up your blog content ASAP. See you in another video.